All right, Woods, it's Mr. Gravo. Here's our read-a-ton update. This is absolutely incredible. Um, we have raised over $1,300 already. This is like a lot of money. This is really unexpected. This is absolutely amazing. So thank you for all you kids that have been sharing and celebrating your reading. Um, this is a substantial amount of money. It's absolutely incredible. All right, so today is Wednesday, March 20th. Our goal is to have 100 counts created by the end of day tomorrow. We only have 64 accounts created. We got 36 more accounts to go. Like, you got to get this done today after school, creating the account because Mrs. Marathon wants to give the whole school a reward. So we got to get to 100 accounts, and it's on you. It's not on the person next to you. It's on you to create that account. So let's go. Um, 36 more accounts, we can do it. If you need help with the login sheet, let me know. I'll get it printed off for you. Let your teacher know they can help also. Now, the other goal with our readathon is to have as many students as possible read 100 minutes or more. It's really easy to add your minutes to that readathon. So, this is going through all the way through March. So, continue to log your minutes. But those students are definitely getting a special reward. I think it's, um, uh, like a lunch, and I think Mrs. Merritt's gonna have you buy a book at least. Um, so make sure that you qualify for that special reward with the readathon. All right, now talking about rewards, let's take a look back at the AR um, book raffle. All right, so remember, we are giving out a couple hundred dollars. So there's going to be three grand prizes of 50 bucks and five prizes of $10. Now, we can't give out cash, but you will get with Mrs. Merritt and be able to buy some things um, with that money here at school. So fifth grade, make sure if you want to be eligible, it's 15 or more AR points in the month of March. Same with sixth grade. Well, sixth grade, you got 20 points. Sorry, we got up the game a little bit. Um, now, those 16 books that have participated in the Book Bracket Challenge. When you pass a test on those, your name's going to go into a raffle to win a pizza party for your class. We'll have a fifth grade winner and we'll have a sixth grade winner. Now, I haven't checked the AR points this morning, but any student that has earned one AR point in the month of March is gonna earn some free Qdoba. And if you haven't had Qdoba, it's delicious and free is even better. So make sure that you have earned at least one AR point in the month of March, and I'll get those Qdoba coupons out to you. Big shout out to Mrs. Geetson too. Now, just as a reminder, we're gonna give you Monday, April 1st to come into school and take those AR tests from those books that you've been reading over spring break. Now, March Madness is upon us. We know that Michigan State's playing tomorrow at 12.15 in the, in the men's basketball tournament. But let's take a look at who's participating in our finals. So here we go. In our final four, we had Coraline versus I Survived. I Survived moved on with 60% of the vote. This is a little surprising to me. Now we got Winn-Dixie versus Among the Hidden. This is really a, um, a close matchup here. But Winn-Dixie's moving on to the finals. They had 55% of the vote. So I need you today and tomorrow, Thursday, I need you making sure that you vote for which book you like the best. I Survived the American Revolution or Because of Winn-Dixie. The winner is going to be announced when we get back from spring break, along with all the AR contest winners and everything like that. All right. Now, have your brackets out. So my bracket looks horrible, right? So I went through and I made sure that... I crossed off those books that I got wrong, and I got locked in at only six points. So let me know if you were if you have more than six points right now. Like you have a higher score for me than um, with the book bracket challenge. Now, if you have a perfect bracket right now and yours looks like this master copy, come see me. Like that's absolutely incredible that you have a perfect bracket and. You may want to convince your friends to vote your way, depending on who you have winning the entire thing. So, Woods, I am so excited. This book bracket challenge and all of our stuff for March has uh, 
been a lot of fun. Thank you for participating and continue to read, continue to qualify for those March AR um, prizes. All right, Woods, let me know if you have any questions. Bye.